Young Miss Boyle. You know there's a curfew. You don't want some fritz to shoot you dead, do you? Sorry, sir. Let's get you home. You had another fight with your mum, didn't you? Why don't I put in a good word? Miss, uh, Mrs. Boyle? I've got a young lady out here who, um... I'm sorry. They don't seem to be at home. What? Let me go in. They're not at home. Let me take you to the station. For a cup of tea. What happened? Let me in. Best you don't go in, miss. A cup of tea's best. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did she do? Oil, oil, oil. I put it on the you. you um, um, And Mum said, you don't have to worry about the train. No one's going on the train. Shut up, Sally. You're a big girl. Stop crying. Kiss my 
Ass. I think I can fix my lamp. I don't actually like long walks. used to think that it was fun. Can't provide the sticky gluten that bold bread. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Roy is right. Roy is right. Now I just need to replace all my chemicals. Stuart. I've got to talk to Stuart. Maybe he's got the chemicals I need squirreled away somewhere.
I wonder if it'd be bad to give you gym when your teeth comes in. My mum always said she knew I'd go wrong because of the way I cried for gym when I was a baby. Yes, darling. Mummy was precocious. <laughs> Someday, when you have teeth, you'll be able to eat mummy's cooking. I know what you're thinking, but I'm a very good cook. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold in the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. You ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. Lovely day for it. Get out of here. Get out, you witch. Well, she's yeah, mellowed. Fiona says Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later. When she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works in the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. Sometimes a powerful man wants nothing more than a good enema. I can't begin to explain why. Maybe you'll understand someday. Actually, I hope you don't. You're looking fine today. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, Jack. I can't get to the store as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What? What happened to your eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... 
Any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly careful there. What you do? If he knows I'm there, it'll get nasty fast. Get out! Let's see if we can't fix the. <coughs> I think I see the killer. Oh. 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 <laughs> no, I don't think I'd like to go to the movies. Bright and shiny, Sally. for the posh girls in year seven.
You don't. Be- Good. <laughs> This must be the bag Harry wanted. I'm gonna chuck something in case I need to run. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. Some source of oxygen. And soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Sally! Uh, Sally Boyle! Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Rat Home via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well... Now we know. Cheerio! That is nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code.
that's better, isn't it?